Network has the most stars on GitHub. Wow. Let's get started, guys, man. Okay, guys, we're going to start this off like this. It's nine different frameworks, right? We're going to go over. And at the same time, we're going to tell you guys how many GitHub stars they have. It seems like these are the nine most popular backend frameworks that according to GitHub or is getting the most stars. They're probably not the most downloaded or probably not the most used, right? But these are the ones that have the most stars on GitHub. And you know, to some people that means something. Me personally, I look at GitHub stars like a book way for bookmarking something, right? But some of you guys put a lot of weight into how many stars they have. So let's talk about it, okay? Let's get it going, all right? The first one that we have here and we're, by the way, before we even move on, I'm going to give you guys the, the GitHub stars that it has. And at the same time, I'm going to tell you guys that we're going from lowest to highest. So basically from the last one to the first one. Okay. So let's get it started. All right. Uh, let's start with CoreJS, right? So CoreJS is a Node.js framework. It has 30,000 GitHub stars. Okay, is a very minimalistic framework. It's bare bones, right? It gives you everything that you need to build uh, simple APIs, uh, even to build full fledged applications. But just like with anything in Node.js, like you literally have to find your own packages. You literally have to set everything up, like uh, cookie sessions, all of those things. User authentication, like it's not coming with anything. All it's doing is just giving you the bare bones to work as a you know node.js developer on web servers that's it you know like it's giving you the basics okay uh what's cool about this is that it was one of the first frameworks that was really using uh a sync you know and, and a lot of things like promises and things like that uh so it never really went through the thing that we call callback hell right because in reality the way how it works is you know it was using already async functions and you know etc right but this is a, a framework that's been around for a while a lot of people respect it right i didn't know that it was in the top nine of github stars so that means a lot of people really you know they really mess with it they like it okay so definitely go check it out core js by the way i do have a course on this Code JS on codingphase.com. Shameless plug. Okay, guys, don't kill me. Shameless plug. Yeah, codingphase.com. We have courses, 20 bucks, and you get over 60 courses. Okay, for 20 bucks. Okay, it's the best deal out there. Shameless plug. Okay, don't kill me. All right, <laughs> let's move on to the next thing. All right, the next one that we have right here is Next.js. Okay, this is a framework that I haven't used at all. Okay, I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest. I haven't used this one, right? I'm giving you guys a, a quick overview of what it is. It says, "Hey, hello, Ness, a progressive Node.js framework for building efficient, reliable, and scalable server." Like they're not telling me anything with this, but <laughs> extensible, versatile, progressive. Okay, it's the same thing. I see that they have uh, TypeScript in here, so I'm guessing that you can use TypeScript with this framework which that's cool but to be honest with you i'm not a big guy with uh typescript right so this doesn't impress me like as soon as i start seeing decorators and things like that it just reminds me of angular and i'm like uh, i don't like angular so okay so it is what it is that's all i'm gonna say about it but like i said again <laughs> there you go ng ng right <laughs> ng ng it seems like the community partner is angular angular <laughs> like this is the angular world okay uh, I, I don't step into that world okay but you know me i'm a react guy all right so it is what it is shout out to ben the wad <laughs> ben the wad, we we know <laughs> people be like damn judge you guys are always talking about react we, we react guys okay don't hate us all right um but yeah man i guess a lot of people like this this also has 30,000.5 k of github stars so it's a little bit better than koa all right <laughs> 500 little stars a little better you know what i mean but it is what it is okay the next one that we have right here is meteor okay listen guys meteor has been around for a long time this was the first framework that really tried to show you guys how to create you know 
uh, freaking full stack uh, applications with uh, Node.js, okay, that really show you guys how to have things in, in you know, the front end and the back end, have its own ecosystem. Like, I used to love Meteor.js, okay? I used to love Meteor.js. I'm telling you guys ahead of time. But I don't know what happened. I don't know why this thing didn't really pick up. I don't know why it didn't become as big as, as it should be, you know? Um, I really don't know. I, I don't know what's the answer behind this thing, but at some point, I don't remember if it was 2012, 2013, 2014, around there, I can't remember the exact date, but this was probably one of the biggest frameworks out there. Everybody was talking about it. Everybody was like, man, this is the next thing. This is the next coming of Jesus Christ. You know, they came to save the world. <laughs> now I believe this is the same company um, that has or has created GraphQL or Apollo. I can't remember. I think it is Apollo. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Now the next one that we have right here is the OG. The OG triple OG ruby on rails kids okay this is the papa opa this is the father of all frameworks okay when ruby on rails came out it basically took over the world you know twitter airbnb pretty much almost every single big startup was being built with ruby on rails nowadays is not as trendy or as popular as it used to be right but currently right now has 46,000.5, 46.5K GitHub stars. Jesus Christ, Joe. Okay, so that's what it is, right? Ruby on Rails, everybody has copied what Ruby on Rails have done when it comes to having a framework, okay? Anybody from Laravel, any other framework like Django, Flask, a lot of those uh, frameworks like Adonis GS, they all taking ideas of what Ruby on Rails did back in the days and have implemented it to their own uh, frameworks. And, and that's great because it's just a, a great overall framework that you can come in and, and have an idea and you could build that idea within two weeks. That's the power of Ruby on Rails. Like some people say there's magic behind it and it's not really magic. It's just they are helping you create things that usually takes time like you know user authentication dealing with sessions with cookies dealing with uh even like the front end you know uh having everything set up for you your assets etc right having a, a folder structure that everybody can use like you could use uh ruby and rails on, on one application right you get fired from that company you go to another company and they're using ruby and rails their whole structure is the same way how it was on the previous company that you was in so it's like there's certain conventions that never change that's what makes ruby on rails super powerful this is actually the first back-end framework that i learned so definitely shout out to ruby on rails okay now the next one that we have right here is another og now this is the og of backing frameworks for node.js and we're talking about express.js this one has 50 000 stars on github okay shout out to them right it's been around for a long time i think this is the favorite framework for every uh junior developer every node.js developer that is just starting up like this is the one that they choose this is the one that they go for so express.js it's pretty legit shout out to them right uh there's not much that i can say about it other than it's a minimalistic uh framework okay they give you the bare bones just like core js okay uh but what's cool about this is that there's so much resources out there for people to learn express js and so many examples of how to create small applications just uh you know micro services to even full-fledged applications like literally the internet is flooded with tutorials of express js and i'm pretty sure everybody here has had at least once <laughs> in their portfolio the yelp camp from cold steel so <laughs> i'm pretty sure everybody has used express js at some point all right so shout out to the people at express now the next one that we have right here is actually spring spring boot okay spring boot spring boot okay this is a framework that is for java you know this is like another super old framework this one has right 50.8k 
50 point AK uh freaking thousands of uh, stars right so shout out to them man um it's actually pretty legit all right um I've never really used it I'm not gonna tell you guys I've used it I've, I'm a spring you know uh, freaking expert this this and that like no bro I, I never really use this I'm not a Java type of guy but I know that this thing is huge this thing has so many different jobs out there like almost every company that is using enterprise level applications and in that type of world right they use either net right or they're using something like this spring okay so definitely go check them out if you're into that world all right so then the next one that we have right here is actually flask okay this is a a, a minimalistic framework okay I wouldn't consider this a full-fledged framework this is like a micro framework just like express js just like uh koa js but of course this is for python now uh it's no surprise to anybody that well you know flask is, is up there right i think this is like in the top three of github stars and it's because you know python is super popular now everybody uses python at some point you know if you're going to school they teach you python there if you go on youtube they teach you python there if you go to udemy you'll see python there if you go to any platform you're gonna see python there and flask is a, a great way to create websites and, and web applications super quick right and just make it you know with the bare minimums without having to have a whole bunch of different things on it uh but yeah it, it has enough for you to start building things and building applications like you know have routing systems static files rendering templates right sessions message flashing so it does have a lot of features uh but maybe not as much as something like django which is the next one okay so literally django and flask are neck to neck they're actually uh separated by five different github stars so basically uh django is the next one but they both have 52.1k and flash also has like 52.1k now the only difference just a little fun fact right uh django had four more than flask okay literally four more than flask so shout out to the people that is using flask and, and django so again now this right here is django and django is a more of a full stack framework uh to be honest with you like this really has everything that you need has user authentication it has so many different features pretty much everything that flask doesn't have uh django has it um it's more of a structure for this framework this is very similar to ruby on rails now of course this is for python instead of ruby um, but if you're coming from that world of ruby on rails you could pick up django pretty quickly and pretty much it's you know it's a full stack framework basically you know uh but yeah man again you got django and flash they're pretty much fighting for number two they're both going like this fighting for it now the number one framework when it comes to the back end on github with the most stars the most popular one okay hands down goes to laravel okay guys laravel there you go all right nobody can complain nobody can say anything this is the most popular framework now what's interesting is that this framework at some point was pretty much like a copy not really a copy but very influenced by ruby on rails and it seems like with the growth of php 7 with all the features that laravel has now laravel is the number one framework on github okay it has the most github stars than any other backend framework period okay so it really has 61,000 uh stars which is 10,000 more stars than even python and uh, python Django's and, and flask okay so it's really super popular in the world of php is is huge it's the number one framework period okay and then at the same time right this framework right here is just it has so much stuff bro like the whole ecosystem of laravel 
is huge like what i'm telling you guys huge like they have so many different things that they've created for laravel everything from mix to uh, cashier scout spark echo nova horizon lumen valley a uh, dusk right forge like there's so many different things that they've created okay for this whole uh you know community of, of developers and i definitely recommend it man i know some people come in and be like man php is dead php syntax is this this and that like shut up like you don't know anything like to be honest with you whoever tells you php is dead you gotta tell the man that's like the craziest zombie that's walking around still kicking to this day because php is too freaking huge man when it comes to the web man that shit is not gonna die bro it's just not right and at the end of the day when it comes to creating quick applications something like laravel it's just man it does the job there's no other framework out there and and to be honest with you i don't think that there could be ever another framework that could really compete with them because just the ecosystem and the community that they have you can't even compare it to any other backend framework like the amount of features that they keep adding every single year and not only every year but every six months it's like it's crazy there's no way no other backend framework can even keep up because there's guys that are so dedicated to you know upgrading and, and adding new features to laravel that most backend frameworks will have to hire people full time and like people are doing this for free there's people that's adding features to laravel every day for free bro like that always blows my mind i'm like where well, you got the time to create all of these things and you're not even getting paid for it um uh, but people do it you know so we got to be grateful for those developers that actually come in and, and, and work hard on on uh, you know on a framework like this uh php laravel man but yeah man that's the number one man okay so now i do want to mention that this whole video was actually influenced by my boy marco denick okay he created this tweet and he was like hey man back in frameworks with the most stars on github right core 30k nest 30.5k meteor 42k ruby on rail 46.5k express 50.2k spring boot 50.8k flash 52.1k django 52 wob on k 61.6k jesus christ this is what i do man this just got me hyped man i just love the community man i love every single one of you guys man and, and this is what we do <laughs> jesus christ you're dropping the camera joe you're going crazy i know you love frameworks i know you love this joe calm down yeah i know man but anyways <laughs> i got hype bro i got hype bro I, I'm, I'm still hype i'm so hype i'm still dropping the camera okay listen man shout out to my boy marco you know this was pretty cool man um it just gave me a, a really good topic for creating a video and yeah man definitely go follow him on twitter all right uh another thing that i will say is guys definitely go check out my website codingphase.com you see the t-shirt man you know the vibes codingphase.com go to the website man check it out it's only 20 bucks bro you come to codingphase.com you get over 60 courses right over 60 courses for 20 bucks and if you click on the description i'm gonna give you 50 percent off right start off with 50 percent off and that's the price that you're gonna pay forever okay as long as you are a member so take advantage you can learn everything from becoming a front-end developer back-end developer and even just getting the whole skills to become a full stack developer just for 20 bucks okay take advantage or again if you look at the description you're gonna get 10 bucks bro okay like literally just 10 bucks all right and if you want to become a shopify developer you want to become a html email developer if you want to become you know a wordpress developer you want to learn how to make money with niche websites etc there's also career bundles in there okay where you could just sign up for a yearly subscription and gives you access to everything okay so take advantage go check it out all right man sorry i got a little bit too hype man but this is what i do man i get hype bro ah! i'm out of here <laughs>